So I wish to feel good most of the time. That's what I'm going for. And I feel like everything else will fall into place once I do that. That's exactly right. So are some subjects easier for you to feel good about? Absolutely. So just think about those next. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, you've heard a lot today about what to do about that. So if you're going to ask, how can I focus on things that make me feel bad and feel good? There's no answer to that. If your question is, well, how can I think more about the things that do feel good? The answer to that is try to get off on the right foot in the morning. That's an easier way, which means understand that while you sleep, momentum subsides and then deliberately get off on the right foot in the morning about thoughts that's really helpful another thing is just don't worry so much about it don't try so hard just be easier about it don't criticize yourself or others so much look for things in yourself and others to feel appreciation for all of those things help we have created a few card decks over time and they are beautifully illustrated and the words that are on them are very specifically chosen words that match the vibration that is at the core of you so if you just sit with a, a deck of those or even just pull one or two or three randomly from the deck and just contemplate the beauty of the picture while you softly read the words that we know for sure will resonate with the core of you that's a really good way to begin music that is really appealing to you that usually takes you to a good feeling place Esther was with some friends last weekend and she played four different versions of a song that she really really likes she said listen to this and so they listened to it and they were all enjoying it so much and then she said now listen to this and then they enjoyed it so much and she said now listen to this and they all enjoyed it so much and they were having fun with her enthusiasm over the same song sung by all these different people and then they got on an airplane and they flew to a whole other city and had dinner in a restaurant that they all enjoy and there's a woman that plays at the piano bar and guess what song she was singing <laughs> the same song because the universe says if you like this then you're really gonna like this and if you like this then you're really gonna like this and if you like this then you're really gonna like this and if you like this then why not a live presentation from one of your favorite people on the planet who sings it just gets better and better and better and better doesn't it yes yeah just letting go and just letting myself love and embrace and be in every moment to the best of every moment is good advice so what do you think keeps you from letting go uh, analyzing self-criticizing well the analyzing is just thinking and it's momentum so don't beat up on yourself about it the self-criticism the criticism is an emotion that comes when you're looking at things in a way that your inner being isn't but the key really the key is to not get off on that negative foot to begin with or to catch it early or there are two other options a lobotomy <laughs> not a good choice or meditation meditation seems easier so <laughs> do you meditate yes and have you been doing it for a while yes off and on so the nice thing about the consistency of it is that that alignment is a sort of progressive thing it's like when you think a thought of something wanted and then you think about how you don't have it the thought doesn't go very far so not much momentum gets going but when you think of what you want and you think of why you want it then more momentum can get going before you think the contradictory thought so it really is about understanding law of attraction law of attraction and momentum are the same concept so you're not alone in this a lot of people think about what they want and then they think about what they don't have and then they think about what they want and in other words they think pleasant thoughts and worrisome thoughts and so they never really get any consistent momentum going and so the nice thing about meditating every day 
is that you hook in every day so that the likelihood of catching negative emotion at an earlier stage is much greater sometimes people would say to us in the early days when we were just beginning to express through Esther and we were talking about things like meditation and appreciation in relationship to law of attraction and we would make this statement that people often ask us is it normal for all hell to break loose in your life when you begin meditating and the answer is yes because it increases your sensitivity to your vibration so that when you get off you feel it in a stronger way because it's easy to become complacent about negative emotion you get pretty used to be worried about things because you do it so often you don't even notice you're doing it or you get accustomed to being angry about things because you do it so often you don't even notice but when you are meditating every day and tuning in to that sublime clarity of well-being and you do it for two or three minutes a day usually 15 minutes of meditation will yield you two or three minutes of that takes most of that 15 minutes just to quiet your mind that's why when you quit after five minutes you don't get there so two or three minutes a day of really quieting your mind goes so far in your vibrational balance and your vibrational balance matters so much because it's not only what your point of attraction is it's how you feel all day long so the words that Esther uses when she's wanting to convince someone of the benefit of meditating she will say it just takes the edge off things that used to bother you don't bother you so much and things that really feel satisfying feel really really satisfying it's like you just get a boost up and things that have bothered you just seem more and more irrelevant so that annoying people aren't so annoying and it's the control you've all been seeking the control that you all want the control that makes you throw shoes out the window <laughs> the control that you all want is the release of resistance the releasing of resistance really is what you're looking for so you're really on the right path you know when you feel good the emphasis that we're giving today we've been talking for a while about the emotional scale where feeling really good like elation and appreciation are in that higher range of vibration and no resistance and the emotions that don't feel good like regret and depression and guilt and those not good feeling emotions which are so full of resistance and much slower lower vibration well of course we want you to find appreciation but if you are in despair you can't find appreciation it's not in your range but you could find something that is a little more satisfying than where you are and so if you will just reach for the feeling of satisfaction and not try to compare how satisfied you are with anyone else because satisfaction is a relative term and what it means is how much of who I really am am I letting flow right now and if you're just letting a little more of who you really are flow it's satisfying your inner being is never saying oh well if you're not gonna come all the way then we're not gonna play because your inner being never adjusts its vibration in relationship to you your inner being always offers a steady vibration which you are having a relationship with so if you're just reaching for something that feels a little better and a little better and a little better that's enough and you know why it has to be enough because it's all you've got it's all you've got so when you say I want to feel really really good all the time we want to say we want that too but don't try so hard for something that may not be in your range just say I'd like to feel more satisfied more of the time that is so doable and as you reach for that and you just feel better and better and better and better and life just gets better we're asking you to be less conditional meaning don't need something to be better so that you can have a better feeling response to it feel better anyway feel better just because you want to feel better and stronger words feel better not feel best we didn't say feel best feel better because you can you can feel better 
you can't feel the best you've ever felt in every moment sometimes you just saw something on television and you can't feel good for a little while don't say I'm gonna feel best all the time just say my intention is to feel better so then you'll begin noticing you feel better about that person and that person you feel better about this and that you just feel better life just starts feeling better and the interesting thing is the better it feels the better it gets and the better it gets the better it feels but now we're sort of leading you into a conditional focus and we don't want to do that because we don't want how you feel to be conditional we just want you to feel good because you can and because you did once and because you liked it we want you to feel good for no other reason than because it feels good to feel good that's all the justification I want to feel good why because it feels good oh really don't you have other reasons no it just feels good to feel good you're weird you know I know but it just feels good to feel good I'd rather feel good than not feel good yeah easier softer when you talk about wanting to appreciate others we like that when you talk about appreciating yourself we like that even more but you're less likely to appreciate yourself than almost anyone because you've practiced being harder on yourself than almost anyone so you got a bunch of momentum about that so just think of the elephant's trunk as your appreciation hose and don't point it at yourself for a while because it's harder look over there Ooh, easy easy to like that and that and that and that and that oh not that so much Ooh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And before you know it, everywhere you look, you can find something to appreciate and it feels so good. Because there's no one taking score. It's just what is your vibrational proclivity. And that just means what have you practiced? What you've practiced, here's what it comes down to. You're selfish and not willing to admit it and the reason we know you're selfish is because you're born selfish because you were born only with the perspective of self so you're self advocators and to pretend otherwise causes you to lose your connection with who you really are so that's why we say you can't fake it you can't pretend that you feel good when you don't but you can feel better than you often do just by accepting that it's good and that it's right that you feel good and what it means to feel good is being in such harmony with your inner being who adores you always has and always will no matter what so you don't want to get crossways of your inner being or you won't feel good so you can take from this conversation which we have loved anytime you feel negative emotion it always means the same thing you are in disagreement with your inner being who is right your inner being is right to feel good about you and about that one and 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 when you don't you're crossways of what you really know and you will never find satisfaction you will not be able to get the mob mentality group big enough to bring you satisfaction when you join it you could say but everyone on the planet agrees with me and we all hate that person you're still not going to find satisfaction even if you join forces with all the other humans on the planet because their inner beings aren't joining them and there's never satisfaction unless you are in alignment with your source we gave you a lot more than you bargained for a lot more than you asked for it was just a very good opportunity to give you the whole ball of wax here about why you feel the way you feel you're doing really well thank you being right here says a lot yeah yeah thank you i'm complete <laughs> really good, really good.